Hello, I'm Jack Koenig with Graco Industrial Lubrication Equipment, and today I'm going to show you how to connect the CSP Compact Series Progressive Divider Valve to the bottom of a G Series pump, including the G Mini and also the G3. And any other pump like the G1 or other pumps that use the same base can also follow this video. So let's dig in and take a look. One feature of the G3 pumps that few people have noticed but has been there the whole time, the whole 10 years since the G3 was launched, there are two holes on the bottom of the unit right next to one of the mounting screws that hold the bottom cover on. So here I just have this G3 pump laying on its back and we're looking at the bottom of it. These two holes are untapped. This one you can see I already have threads in because I tapped it, but you can tap these with an M6 by one thread. So all you really need to mount a CSP valve to the bottom of the pump is the valve itself and a couple of M6 bolts and then you're going to need your M6 by one thread tap. So since I already tapped this one, I can just finger tighten it. This one, I can get it to take a couple of threads, but that's all you need to do. It's actually really easy and those holes have been there the whole time. So there aren't any real tricks to mounting the CSP valve to the bottom of the G3. One thing I do want to warn you about though, these fasteners are about a 40 millimeter length. These holes are less than an inch deep. So just make sure that you don't get fasteners that are too long. I would recommend that you specifically use 40 millimeter fastener length on the screws just to make sure that you don't put these in too far and crack the bottom because this is all sealed up down here to maintain that IP69K. So these aren't openings, they're just indentations that actually have an end and you don't want to blast through that end and crack the bottom of the base and then cause water ingress. But other than that, that's as much as it takes to do a G3. Now let's take a look at the bottom of the G Mini. This is our G Mini pump here and this is the bottom. We don't have those two holes anywhere. So in order to mount a CSP valve, we're going to need a special bracket. This bracket includes two welded in nuts with that M6 by one thread and two weld studs with M8 by one and a quarter thread. We include the mating connectors. I'm just giving you those threads in case you happen to lose a piece. You can get these anywhere because they're just normal threads. So with the M6 threads for the CSP valve, we have two mounting screws that are 40 millimeters long. We have two lock washers and two flat washers. To go with the M8 threads, we have two flat washers and then these two nuts with the nylon inserts to serve as nylon lock nuts. So now let's put this all together and see how it attaches to the G mini pump. The order in which you put this together in a lot of ways is just going to be your own preference. You could put the block on first, the CSP valve that is, or you could put the pump onto the bracket. I think I'm going to start with the pump. If you notice back here, there is a slot that these welded on nuts need to slide into. So it kind of matters how you get this lined up. Since I have that pressure relief over there, let's look at this side. And let me get a little more light here. Pardon me while I prop this up with the pliers, but here we can see the weld stud a little bit better. It's easy enough to get the washer on, but one thing I want to point out is that the nut is a 13 millimeter nut, and you're not going to be able to get a socket on to that nut because there's this little piece related to the pump element in the way. So we can put this on with our fingers easily enough, but then to tighten it, it's really handy to have a, a ratcheting box end wrench like this. And again, it's 13 millimeters. So you could do this with just a normal open or closed end wrench. It's just that having the ratchet there is going to make it go a lot faster. So now that that's snug, we can go do the other side and Again, this view is blocked a little bit by the relief valve, 
but I wanted to make sure I installed a relief valve assembly onto this pump to point out that the relief valve assembly is not included. Just like it's never been included with the G3, it's not included with this pump either, but you always need a relief valve. So make sure that you are installing a relief valve on your pump outlet. And I'm gonna finish wrenching this down. Now we're ready to connect our CSP valve to the bottom. And one thing I'd recommend before doing that is getting the fittings and the proc switch on the valve as much as possible. I'm gonna mount this with the proc switch against the base so that the fittings are a little bit easier to get wrenches on later. But then we just put our washer and our lock washer on here, get that hand tightened. And once these are finger tightened, they are just an, a 10 millimeter head. So you just need your 10 millimeter socket. And then once they're tight, we'll go get our torque wrench and torque them down to the appropriate torque spec. Now, one thing I wanna point out too is this fitting I'm using here is not gonna work for a lot of people. It's actually extending past this, it's not flush. So we do have elbow fittings or you could just put a regular street elbow in here before you mount this. Now all the other fittings are on so we can just take our hose. This is one of the push to connect G-lock fittings and connect it to the pump outlet. And now it's kind of all one pump module with the valve built into it in, in a way. From here now, all we have to do is put a, a cable on the proc switch and connect that to the pump. This cable is a little bit longer than you're going to want, obviously, but you can just cut a little short cable. And it's a very compact unit with everything all in one spot. And again, your choice of elbows may be different than mine and make it even smaller. But this is enough for me to demonstrate the process. So hopefully you found this video informative and helpful. If you have any questions about G-Series pumps, CSP valves, mounting brackets, or any other Graco product, please feel free to contact us. We are always happy to hear from you. 